Hey, let's paint a sunset. I'm gonna be using Siphon Fed airbrushes. These are the Omni 3000s by Badger. Uh, the Siphon Fed just means it has the bottle on the bottom. They fill with paint instead of the cup on top. I fill my bottle about halfway up with paint and then add about 10% reducer or so. It makes the paint flow nice and smoothly. I'm gonna plug this hole in the top of the bottle with a needle so that it doesn't splatter paint everywhere and then I'm gonna shake it up. That's good. So for my sunsets, I like to start with the water first and then I'll do the sky on top of it. I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna put the horizon line in. Right about there. Now, I'm gonna work in with two dagger strokes. And meet in the middle. Now I like to frame out the design with a nice shape, something like a V. This will give me a guideline for the next step. Lay down some lines that you would use as waves. Meeting in the middle. More dense on the outside, less dense in the middle. Now I'm gonna frame this water a little bit more with some shading. This is a good start for my water. I like to add a little bit of green to my water. If you have a light blue handy, you can use this to blend or you can just use it with your regular blue. Kind of fade this color in. Now I'm gonna come back this with some highlights from the sun, but first I wanna draw the clouds. I'm gonna start with this fuchsia color and I'm gonna lightly fade in some of the clouds by the horizon. Some nice wiggly dagger strokes. Love that. Now I'm gonna lightly frame in my design with this purple a little bit. switch to pink, and I'm going to create some bands of color above this purple. And some more daggers here. I'll blend this purple and pink together. And maybe take a little bit of it into the water. For a reflection. Adding this yellow is where all the magic happens. I'm not gonna bring it all the way down. I started at the top, I'm gonna fade in to nothing into the middle. A nice radial gradient. Yellow at the top, white in the middle. At this point, I like to add in my highlights. If you imagine the sun here, you can make a nice bright white spot. Now anything that's facing the sun needs to get a highlight. Underneath the clouds, you get a highlight. Or on top of the clouds, you get a highlight, depending on which side of the sun you're on. Just trace your dagger strokes and do a nice bright white line in the middle to separate the horizon from the sky. and the same white lines on top of my waves. Brighter in the middle, fading out this way. Now we can do some nice soft white highlights. Back your airbrush away. Do some nice dots. Now we're gonna use black to add a palm tree and our text. I'm gonna put the palm tree down here. One big dagger stroke at the bottom. And a few lines on top. Now I'm going to do smaller strokes coming off of each one of these branches. I'm going to repeat that for every branch. Don't forget about gravity.
and then a small bush on the other side. So that I'm going to add my text. And a drop shadow. One more thing you can do to really set it off is a highlight on the side of this tree. And we're done. Let me know what you think.